I'm here to suck at Mario and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of Dark Souls. Oh, sweet. Fire Emblem level. People have been wanting me to play, play Fire Emblem. All right, Roy, come on. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. I don't have control over you. You're doing that on your own. Okay, good to know. Uh. Everything's fine. Everything's less fine now. Everything is somewhat less fine. Where are we going? Hi. Calm. Yeah. Wait, what? Who would build this? <laughs> This is how I get my castle every day. This is the front line. Oh my god, it bounces off. Uh, uh, fire no. <laughs> uh, none of these are gonna fall, right? This isn't I wanna be the guy. Ah. They're just mean spikes that exist. Why? Oh, there's a falling one. That one's clearly a different color. But also, I jumped too high. And now I get to start the entire thing over. Cool. Yeah. Woot. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I wonder if the Yoshi coins are easy to get in this level if they're if they are all over this thing or not. Nope, oh, you keep going. I kinda thought he was gonna come back sooner than that. Who would build this? Who would build this? Like, even if it's supposed to keep intruders out, I feel like at some point, it would just feel so inconvenient to get in and out of your own castle at some point. So you gotta deal with this. Oh! The, f the fire wasn't here last time. That only happens sometimes? I thought the fire was scripted to trap me like that and be a nightmare, but it just, it just didn't this time. Alright, so that's the one that falls. Oh, it doesn't even get scripted. It doesn't even fall that close to you. Ow. I say as I get killed by it. Great. Must be a short level, because that was like every single coin. I think, I think that was the last one of the entire level, because there was already four of them on the screen. Repeating. 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 Over and over. And over and over and over. No. This is a bad time to press the run button. <laughs> the time, the speed that Mario works at, walks at normally is actually really convenient for once. Ah, uh, no, don't get stuck up here. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, they didn't come up here. So that was a special condition. That was just a random chance. With the, with how the first one got scary and weirdly pixel perfect with its jump. Go figure, I survived that jump, but all the easier stuff that happens later, I can't get past. I watch, oh! I missed the ledge. <laughs> it's, just, it's such a long time to not make a mistake. <laughs> Alright, no, starting over, it's cool. I love waiting. Waiting levels are my favorite. Nope. So we go left, and then we go right. Twice, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you do your thing, Snake Man. Please, no. 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 Oh. Ah. Oh. I thought I was gonna get stuck in the corner like I did the first time, so I started running so I could go under it, and then it just came back at me. I mean, it well, it kept going in a straight line, so I went, I ran into it. Sweet. Well, at least every single death has been different. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh! <laughs> I actually sat there thinking like, I'm gonna be clever, I'm just gonna stand here, and it'll come back under me, and I'll land on it. I completely misjudged the space of it. I need to stop thinking about things and just follow it almost slavishly until it's finale. <laughs> I keep trying to think of like, oh yeah, I could probably just wait here and it would come under me, and then no. It's not long enough for that. And the guy wasn't as close to the curve as I thought I was. Ok, 
Careful. Now stairs. Excitement stairs of excitement. So exciting. Oh, jeez. No, stay down there. Cool. So the, it's got to be completely based on where I'm standing at that exact moment, right? So if I'm standing at this specific spot on the screen, that's what that determines whether or not those fireballs get up, get under or above this thing. Because where I'm standing determines their spawn points. Huh? Yeah! Door? Door. Door. Door, door. Door. Uh. Death. I see you, silly thing. Yes! Huh? What? Oh, that wasn't- didn't know that was there a second ago. What do I do with this? There's fire everywhere. I don't like it. Alright. Uh... Would I want to go up? Or over? Are there multiple exits to worry about? Oh, well, that's immediately... Immediately! We'll try this again. No. No! Ooh! Oh, this timing is unfortunate. <laughs> Just a murder hall of murder. You're not defeating me. Unless it's ever the part where you... Uh. Yeah. Careful now. Careful. So careful. More careful than anyone thought I was physically capable of being. Yeah. Alright. Uh. How am I gonna screw this one up? Like so! Oh my goodness, I'm alive. Haha! -ha. Nope. Boss chamber. What do I do with the power block, though? <laughs> Um, come with me? Oh, it's gone. I guess I was supposed to use it in that part above me, probably. At least I have two hits. Are you just gonna fall from the ceiling? Oh. I thought I was running under him to knock a hit. Whoops. Aha! Yeah, Roy, take that. You carbon copy of another boss, apparently. Oh, the walls are closing in. That's spooky. Oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Don't do that, walls. Yeah! The boss fights are getting easier, but the levels before them are getting harder. We've now done the same boss fight twice. We did the Triceratops fight with the bridge twice, and we've done the guy falls from the ceiling boss twice. I didn't think there was going to be repeats, actually. Wow. Mario found his way through the forest of illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5. Onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. Also, that was a weird prediction of Dark Knight there. <laughs> Tries to blow it up and it doesn't work at first and then it catches him by surprise. R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Yeah! I would like to save. How did you know? That doesn't look like chocolate down there. It looks like a ni nasty, craggy mountain range of- What the- What? You're bad, right? Oh, oh! Why? Why do you get smaller when I step on you, huh? That's... What? <laughs> Is this like a simulation of nuclear fission? Like you crush their he their living body into a smaller vessel and then all the heat gets released through their mouth? They're probably less dangerous when they're big, aside from the fact they're probably harder to jump over. Oh god. There's a lot of you guys. Oh. Why question mark block? Why are you here to ruin me? I thought we had a nice thing going. Why, why would you betray me like this? Oh. So they do not turn back and forth when the when the levels uh ooh like the level changes directions but the uh the enemies don't change direction with it oh goodness me that was a murder combo of murder um I can get that I actually got it cool I was joking I didn't think I could get it <laughs> yeah projectile Mario. Gotcha. Now down. No? But I want it to. You understand, I want it. I can't take it. Oh! 
Yeah, everyone knows that uh, plumage, plumbing pipes can just act exactly like. Oh, that's disappointing. Can they? They can just act exactly like uh, cannons. It was a bad day at Mario's office that day. <laughs> uh, which of these things do I want more? Die. That didn't help. Didn't really think that one through. Oh, now I'm sad. Everything makes me sad. Alright. Well, that didn't work out. Aha! Yes, another one. What do I do with the spring? Is it useful, or is it just for that one part? I don't know. Huh? Oh wait, there's no alternate. Well, there could still be secrets in the level. There's just no alternate exit because it was because it was a uh, yellow level. That didn't kill you at all. Come here, little buddy. Yes. Eh, eh, eh. And yeah. No. No. <laughs> the spring, of course. Come here. There we go. Nope. Not that one. Die? Yay! I love suicide, friends. I can't spit this guy out, can I? No, he just gets eaten. So we need a blue switch for that one. Or else. Happy I found that particular thing back there. Oh! Are you the cannon? You are the cannon. Ah! Uh, <laughs> That was alarming. Yeah! There's a brief moment of panic built into that action. <laughs> so it seems that both of them had vertical pipes that were next to the cannons that would launch you down the, the cannons. Consistency in level visuals. The Choco Ghost House. Oh. Well, I've, my Yoshi will keep me safe. No! Oh. So Yoshis are afraid of ghost houses and won't come in with you? Oh, 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 hi. Uh... That's not how... <laughs> Some really good carpentry right there. Well constructed. Excellent woodwork. We're all very proud of you. I did not spin. I should have used a spin. That would have been the smart thing to do. I was just thinking of the, uh... I saw a Black Mirror episode called Playback, and I'm just thinking of the stupid character's main line of like, oh, Yeah, excellent, excellent woodwork. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Hit. Nope. Oh, that was almost bad. <laughs> what? Why does Spooky Lakitu have fire? That's gotta be bad, right? Fire is generally not good for your skin, or other parts of your body, really. It's not good for anything. Besides burning. It's good for other people's skin that you're going to eat. Huh? I don't want to be in your cooking flame. Oh, that's really close to me now. I don't like that. Stop that. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. How how long is this level? <laughs> I feel like we're looping now. Are we looping? Huh? Oh no. Just go in the go in the hole. <laughs> there we go. Everything's fine. Yeah. 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 What do you want, Spook? What? Ghosts turn into bricks now? Oh. 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 So I lost my chance at that question mark block by doing that just now. Didn't I? It's fine. What? Make up your mind, Ghost. What are you? What? Oh no. It's a DVD menu. Go in the corner. Go in the corner and reverse your direction. Uh... Uh... What's happening in this level? That wasn't there a moment ago. That was some off-screen lack of con continuity nonsense. Oh, I keep my Yoshi. It's staying outside. So when I go back to the overworld, I'll still have a Yoshi. It didn't get destroyed by this action. But now I have no... Now I'm a tiny me. And that's bad. Huh? 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 Oh, his hat is not part of his hitbox. Huh? No! Thought I was spinning, and I was not spinning. That was a mistake. I spent, you spent a surprising amount of this playthrough in ghost houses. Oh. Yes. Can I kill ghost too? And ghost chew I don't like you, go away. 
I don't think I don't think there's anything I can throw at you. I, I doubt I can spin on your fire. Yes. All right. Tiny insurance for future mistakes has been acquired. Ah, uh, nope. Not that mistake. That mistake is not defended against. You don't have insurance for that. Nope. I am already down like 10 lives. <laughs> to be clear, the reason why I had 99 lives at the beginning of this episode is because I just went to that one level. There's like a, there's a one up at the beginning of the level, and then I was, I was exporting the video from the previous episode, and I was like, I'll just grab that one up like 80 times. Why not? It takes like three seconds per one up, and I'm just watching a progress bar right now. So, whenever, like, between sessions, I'll probably just keep refreshing it back to 99, because why not? It's just right there. You just go to the beginning of, like, what, Illusionary Forest 4? And there's just, like, a freaking. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thought I hit jump at the end there. I apparently did not. But in, in Illusionary World, World 4, they just give you, uh,. A one up at the beginning of the level, and you can just quit the level, and it keeps and you keep the one up, and that's just in the game. So I'm like, oh well, that's that's basically your game over. Oh wow, that's basically insurance against game overs. I have uh just been blindly jumping into that horde of ghosts, and it's worked out for me. <laughs> I actually don't have a plan. I just I'm like, eh, there's a bunch of them. I spin jump, I'll be fine. I, it finally failed me. I, th I thought that it was about to fail me again. I figured that now that it's happened once, now it's gonna happen every time and I'll have to rethink my entire world. That's always the weird thing when you're playing a hard anything. We're not even... Hard's not the right word necessarily, but whenever you're having trouble with anything in a game and you're, there's certain things you rely on that are always consistent, and then like 10 attempts in while you're still struggling with something else, the one thing you thought always was fine just suddenly stops, suddenly starts being a problem. You're like, no! Oh. That's happened multiple times now. <laughs> That's definitely happened multiple times now, where I, I see those guys and I, I, I'm like, oh, it's not quite time to jump, I can, if I back up a tiny bit, I'm good, and then I jump in the hole. I've been recording a game with Andrew lately for co-op, actually. Uh, and that game is, we're intentionally playing it on a, on hard, a hard difficulty, and it constantly throws things at us where we, we finally think we have, we're getting with the part down that we're having trouble with, and then suddenly the part that never gave us any trouble becomes the new problem. I ran too fast. Why, Medusa heads? Why? You thought there were a problem in Castlevania, but in that in that game you can take hits. <laughs> in this game, you just dead. Huh? I still haven't played any Castlevania games, have I? It's one of those things I always mean to get around to, but I'm like, ah, oh, but first I gotta finish all of the Dragon Age games and all of the Witcher games. And I've got to finish all the Mass Effect games. <laughs> and I've got to finish both Dishonored's and both Deus Ex's and their expansions. And then maybe alternate runs of those games. <laughs> I keep trying to finish the things I'm already starting to let... I think I've been like... Uh, well, I had the one up at least. I just should... At least I, tank, I tanked it this time. Huh. Oh! <laughs> I turned around mid-jump. But I'm, I'm so focused on all the cans of worms that I've opened already and trying to finish those that I can't even think about all the things I want to start eventually. I'll never, I will never run out of games to, to play in my entire life. I think my Steam library right now, if it was frozen solid forever, would be enough games for me to play for the rest of my life. But that's because it's just too many fucking video games. <laughs> oh, okay, I almost killed myself just now. There we go. Thank you. Mixture of Steam sales where a bunch of games are two dollars, and then when you, once you start having any vaguely large YouTube channel, even a little bit, uh, you just get drowned in free games to some extent. Not 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 necessarily the ones you want, but games just happen at you sometimes. Oh, I tried to press up, but it didn't work. No. I think you have to fully stop in front of the door, more or less. And I was trying to- I was desperately trying to thread the needle really quickly there. There's a lot of individual things to kill you in this- in this level. So I've died on it. I think I've died on all of them, one by one. <laughs> Except for maybe the first ghost. No, I think I might have died on the first ghost in the first attempt. Careful. But yeah, the uh, the current marketplace could be sum summarized as like... There are a hundred billion indie co companies trying to make their indie games, and they have- they don't know how to get exposure, so... They hunt for YouTube channels like mine. 
and it's very like I don't have even I don't have time already to deal with all that all those games. It's insane. I try. Please stop dying to things you've already seen before. Ah, no. <laughs> We've gotten past you already. Why is no? That, that's that's what start, that's what started this entire tangent. And someone someone's probably gonna be like, just, just talk about the game. We're talking about bullshit now. And that was that thing that spurred that entire thought process. It's these five ghosts' fault. Blame them. That's what you always do. You always deflect blame because you can't take responsibility for anything. That's why no one will love you. <laughs> oh, gotcha. This, girl, this freaking fireball. I hate it. <laughs> it's just constantly pestering you from above. Just, just it's like it's this constant background anxiety added to the level. And I don't like it. Huh? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Oh, it's this part, right? Oh, well. That, there goes that jump. Just gonna have to live with that one. Can I jump on you guys? No, I cannot. Only some ghosts work that way, not other things. By the way, that... That's actually a definition... That, that actually is a form of trial and error gameplay right there. Oh, you're not useful. <laughs> you're not something useful. Yeah, weirdly enough, that is like a, that's that's that is genuinely trial and error. Is the experimentation of which things you're allowed to jump on. Oh, did this change because I went left and right and then left, or did that change because I went and grabbed that thing? Or was that stuff already there? What is this level? But yeah, the the, uh, the list of things you can spin jump on is just something you discover by mistake, or through a Nintendo power. I I was actually watching a decent thing that was a, a decent case of like. How the secrets in Mario, to some extent, were sort of like built in with the assumption that you would just be someone who reads Nintendo Power. And like a lot of Nintendo games have weird secrets because people would just know it because they would read Nintendo Power and stuff like that. Or their friends would read it and they'd hear it from them in the schoolyard. So in a really weird sort of way, it's like these games are built with, with uh, guides in mind and like being told by outside forces what to do at various points of the game. Which is probably how we let got to insane moments like in Castlevania 2 where you're supposed to crouch in front of a cliff in order to beat the game. And then you can't continue until you crouch in front of that cliff, even and the only cliff is and the only clue is some really vague non-English. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I wanna go up there, but I don't know how. I do not know how. It might be in that question mark block over there, but I it's gonna be a little hard to deal with the fact that the ghosts have reset. Did they reset one again? They do. Ah, I'm big now. That's not. Oh, never mind. It's you guys. I have to, I have to bring you guys over. Because you're blocks. So I can turn you into blocks in front of the solution. I discovered in the last minute of the game. <laughs> in a weird sort of way, that's probably the ultimate way that uh, Dark Souls games are ultimately like old Nintendo games, is the fact that Oh, pretty much everybody, and I think to the point where I think the people that disagree might be lying. Uh, pretty much everyone who ever played a uh, Dark Souls game, yeah, uh, at some point used some kind of outside information to figure something out. <laughs> There's too many secrets, too many obscure things, and sometimes even basic gameplay mechanics are so obscured that I think it's reasonable to assume that uh, that most people actually beat Dark Souls by. Uh, using some kind of guide at some point, especially their first game in the series. Because there's too much stuff that you just would not intuit on your own. And I love the games, but that's that stuff's more or less true, yeah. Here, the coins you collect, or the time remaining, can change your progress. Can you find the special goal? What? So, the how long it takes to beat the level versus how many coins you get can affect the outcome? That's, too, that's still super vague, though. <laughs> There's not much to go on. Please don't kill me. Okay. So the amount of time it takes you to beat the level will change. Uh, the outcome. Sure. Oh, that was that, that was a cliff to not fall on there. Ooh hoo Please don't murder me. I really don't want to die. Is there a clue somewhere? Yeah. Maybe you have to get the right a certain score. 
Like your time crossed with the coins you get leads to a different score, and maybe that score affects the outcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's weird how bushes just have... I mean, I guess bushes would not be a completely unreasonable place to find uh, hallucinogenic shrooms. Hot. Wow. The game lagged. <laughs> the game lagged from what was going on there. <laughs> so do I, do I go to the same exit? Do I just go to the same exit but at different times and it leads to different places? Bonus game! Boom! 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 I'm not really trying, I'm just gonna hit all of them. <laughs> it's fine. I missed somehow, twice. Wow, that's actually been weirdly consistent. What? 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 How am I jumping through them? Okay, there. Yay! Ooh. That's a neat thing, but you already gave me infinite one-ups earlier. Cool. Alright. I did it. So there's another exit somewhere. Somewhere. Okay.